this was a, a study that attempted to replicate some of our pilot work where we recruited women who were seeking treatment for really a broad range of sexual difficulties, mostly low desire, problems with arousal, lack of pleasure, not being interested in sex. Um, these were women who were seeking treatment in a large sexual medicine treatment center, and they were offered um, group mindfulness-based therapy, which we had been developing and adapting from previous well-established mindfulness protocols that were available for other conditions like anxiety uh, and depression, but we adapted them specifically to women with sexual concerns. So women came to our study and they were randomized into one of two groups, either the group mindfulness condition or to a delayed treatment condition where they essentially went through all the same battery of tests and assessments, but they didn't receive the mindfulness until several months had passed. So we had um, about 150 women who participated in the study and the, the mindfulness intervention involved uh, two months of mindfulness-based therapy, uh, daily exercises at home, and facilitated by practitioners who were both uh, skilled in sex therapy as well as had their own personal mindfulness practice themselves. And so when we compared the two groups, the women who received mindfulness versus the women who didn't and yet were waiting for it, what we found was that um, distress significantly lessened in both groups. So even those women who didn't receive treatment, by the time the few months had passed, they were significantly less distressed. And that makes sense. They had some hope. They knew they were about to receive treatment. But there were no other improvements on any domain of sexual function or mood. On the other hand, the women in the mindfulness group, in addition to being uh, significantly less distressed afterwards, they had improvements in sexual desire, arousal, satisfaction, their overall sexual functioning improved, they reported improvements in their mood and their quality of life, um, and their overall satisfaction with the treatment was quite significant. So in that sense, it was a very feasible treatment that could be delivered on a, in a very cost-effective way. So in terms of implications for treatment, I think that this is um, contributing to a, a growing story and the story, the punchline in the story is that mindfulness can be very effective for a number of domains of health, um, but in particular sexual difficulties. And in this study with the improvements in desire and arousal, it suggests that clinicians might seriously consider using mindfulness-based approaches when their patients are approaching them. Um, so we know that mindfulness is also a very uh, portable type of a protocol. There are great mindfulness apps, and that might be a good starting place for physicians or clinicians in practice to recommend to their patients. So I think the fact that mood and quality of life improved in the mindfulness group is also noteworthy because as desire declines over time, it can, it can take a toll on one's mood and have these kind of broader implications on one's quality of life and on their relationships. So the fact that the mindfulness arm was able to bolster mood, uh, quality of life, and desire suggests a much more holistic approach than maybe other existing interventions which more narrowly focused just on the symptom of low desire without necessarily the benefit on these other aspects of health and well-being. In terms of follow-up to this study, we for the last year have now been looking at an expanded version of this protocol. So in the study that just was just completed, mindfulness was administered over four sessions. We've expanded it to eight sessions and we're now comparing women who receive mindfulness versus women who receive um, kind of a support group combined with sex therapy done in a in a group environment to see the extent to which mindfulness really provides added value above and beyond you know basic education basic information on sex therapy